Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewers about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. In tonight's video presentation, we're going to show our viewers how to add a directory-style storage drive to our Proxmox virtualization server using our Proxmox web interface. The first thing that we want to do to add this directory storage drive is come over here and select our server. Then we're going to select disks and you're going to get a screen that looks something like this that appears. It probably won't be exactly like this. I probably have more drives than you do, maybe. But you're gonna see SDA and your three partitions most likely for your Proxmox web interface, as well as maybe one other drive. Here I have four. Now I also want to point out this drive right here is actually USB. So you can use these techniques to add a USB storage drive to your Proxmox web server as well as an internal drive. So here under SDB we're going to go ahead and wipe this disk. Wiping this disk isn't mandatory but it is good practice for all disks that you do not want the data on. For example, this disk that contains some of my backup images and stuff that I'm bringing over to this server from a previous install, I don't want to wipe. But this disk here has been used for various other things, or maybe it was purchased brand new. In any case, I don't know what's on it, I don't care what's on it, and I want it to be clean. So I can click wipe disk, then press yes. Now that the disk has been wiped, we can initialize the disk and add a file structure to it. Or more or less a disk format structure, not a file structure. We do that by clicking initialize disk. And you can see here that it's been changed to GPD. So, this disk is ready to be used. So how do we get this disk to show up over here using just the Proxmox web interface? Well, this is actually pretty easy. We can click directory and we're presented with this screen. Then we can click create directory. And if you noticed, it auto filled with all three of my drives, but SDB being the first drive with the highest or lowest, however you want to refer to it, name of B instead of C or D, it shows up first. Now we can select here one of two file structures, XFS or EXT4. EXT4 has a limitation of two terabytes. Since my drive is 2.7 terabytes, we want to go ahead and select XFS. Then we can give it a name. I'm just going to call it storage today. And I'm going to hit create. Now if we click details here, we can kind of see what's going on. And we can even check status to see how things are working. But this will kind of give us an output to tell us how this is going and that our system hasn't locked up. It shouldn't, but sometimes with extended projects like this, that can happen. Now, in my experience, this takes between 10 and 20 minutes to successfully finish. So we'll be back when that's happened. Now our drive has been successfully created as a directory style storage drive in our Proxmox virtualization server. We can go ahead, exit this screen, and we see that storage is shown up over here. Now, one of the great things about a directory style storage drive versus an LVM storage drive is we can actually store many different types of files on this. Container templates, ISO images for installation of different VMs, container images themselves. So this is the container or CT volumes is actually the volume where the container is created and stored. VM disks are like your virtual hard drives for VMs and even our backup files. Now that's great, but 
if we didn't want to have some of these or all of these, kind of like our default system is structured where we have a directory style storage drive that just contains templates and ISOs, and then we use an LVM for our container volumes and our VM disks, we can actually go ahead and configure that. To do that, we can select data center and we can come in here at storage. Now at storage, you can see our directory style drive here as local, and then our LVM, or thin LVM in this case, that contains our disk images and containers. But to do that in our storage drive, we can select storage, and then we can select edit, and under this drop down, we can deselect some of the different types. So here, we can deselect container and disk image, and that'll allow this directory style storage drive to hold ISOs, container templates, and backup images, as well as snippets. Now when we select OK, a few of those will disappear, and we can go back here, and we actually find that what we deselected goes away. One last thing, if you ever decide you no longer want to use this drive, and you want to remove it from your system, or use it for something else, you can delete the directory here by selecting this, clicking on more and directory, just like when we delete containers or VMs, you type storage and you hit remove. That'll destroy the directory mount. Then under disks, you can go ahead and wipe your disk. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration on how to create a directory style storage drive in your Proxmox virtualization server using your Proxmox web interface. And you found it much easier than having to use all the command line steps demonstrated in previous videos. If you liked today's video, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing, as well as maybe dropping us a comment to let us know how we did or add something to our presentation to help inform and educate our viewers. Consider checking out our web store and purchasing some merch from us. That merchandise will help us fund creating more projects and educating more of our viewers on YouTube about virtualization. Our web store is at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.